Hey, how's it going? Can you hear me? Yes, yes. We should be good to go. How's it going? <laughs> a bit nervous. I'm uh, sorry if I'm a bit difficult to understand. Uh, English is not my first language. No, no, it's fine. I think it's, uh, it's coming through perfectly well. By the way, do you want to introduce yourself to the audience? They're asking who I'm talking oh. to. Uh, just another uh, fan of the of the stream. Uh, what do you go by? What's what name should we um, call you? Uh, she or her. Uh, okay. Yeah, you can call me Kylo. I know it's, it's Kylo. not a feminine name, but uh, okay, no, that's I, fine. I use it as a, a token for my love to Kylo Ren. Sweet. So you should be in the game with me now. Uh, well, you're not in the game, but you're in like this this yes, session. Yes. Okay, Donkey Kong Country. Uh, no, the second one. Oh, the second one. Okay. <laughs> Wait, give me a second to uh, this one. Yes. Awesome. 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 I think this game have like a uh, two player uh, yeah. option. That's why oh, I yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, right here. Two player yeah. team, right? Uh, I should be the first player. So let me make sure that it works. I think when I die, you take over. I believe so. Okay. Let me try Here, let me try getting this. I should be actually here. Let me switch. Can you move now? Yes. It's yes, working. Yes, yes. Fantastic. Awesome. All right. Uh, so you want to switch? Or? Oh, it's okay. You can play for a minute. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. So, uh, well, I already asked you this once, and you. Uh, you replay, but I wanted to extend uh, the question. Uh, I asked you once if you have seen uh, the movie Big Eyes uh, by Tim Big Burton. Eyes? I don't... No, I don't think uh, so. No. Yeah. no. It's um, a movie about in 2014 movie. Uh, spoiler alert. I mean, it's an old movie, but just in case. Right. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's uh, the true story about a famous painter, Margaret Kane. Uh, who was uh, like she suffered the abuse of her husband for a lot of time. Uh, I how this who claimed uh, he was the painter of her paintings. Uh, and oh really? What yes? What um, what I wanted to talk about is by the end of the movie. Uh, she's able to free herself from that man, but uh, she does so uh, by becoming a Jehovah's Witness. Uh, she was a very gullible person. Really? Interesting. Uh, yes, and I didn't like that because the first time I saw the movie, I didn't know anything about uh, Jehovah's, Jehovah's Witnesses. Jehovah's right. But after I knew, uh, like, <laughs> it's your turn. Okay. Like, uh, it gives you the impression that, like, they are good people, like, uh, they say... They mean uh, well and all that yes, stuff, yeah. They, yes, like, uh, I was reading a bit about her, and up to her death, that was uh, just, uh, like, since last month she died. She uh, was right. 94 years old, she was very old. Um, she oh my claimed god, I to suck be, at this yes, part. <laughs> Sorry, go on. <laughs> no, no problem. Forget it. Um, she still claimed to be like uh, reading the Bible, and that after showing Jehovah's Witness, she her drawings, her paintings became more happy. And like I don't like now that I know how they are that the movie is giving a false impressions about them. Right. Um, because. Um, the guy, the, the husband, who was like very abusive, uh, by the end, uh, when, she, uh, when she is uh, doing him a trial, uh, putting, her to court, putting him to court for claiming that she was the real painter of those. Right. Uh, of yeah. those paintings. Uh, he, he says, oh, well, she's showing in a cold. Uh, they are wackos. They're not even letting his 
right? Uh, her, uh, her daughter going to the to the prom, and the thing is that probably the only sincere, uh, actual, truthful things he says, he says in the, the whole movie. Yeah, a lot but, of uh, movies tend to be selective about how they portray certain religions and stuff, and Jehovah's Witnesses are not portrayed in. Uh, movies very often. Oh my god, I can't believe I did that. Sorry. <laughs> I haven't played this in a while. I, it's one of my favorite games ever, though. But anyways. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's me too, but I haven't played uh, since I was little. I practiced a bit till the other day, but yes. Right. I played uh, when I was a teenager. But yeah, I, uh, I know a lot of movies are, you know, not it's great not in how, they're, how they portray religious uh, groups. I was thinking, and though. it's funny because... Uh, like the chairs uh, tend to say like uh, I oh I can't believe I did that I wanted <laughs> to reach that far <laughs> I wanted right. to reach that far so close uh, they tend to say that Hollywood is so bad that the, the satanic and they actually really generous with uh, with religious in general like right. uh, there are a lot of tropes about uh, good priests, good pastors, and skeptics are usually portrayed as poorly. the bad ones. <laughs> yes, poorly. Yeah. yeah, I'll tell you, uh, they a lot of movies have skeptics in them, but the skeptics or the atheists or whatever are always, it's like a redemption arc. Like, they start out as atheists, and by the end of the movie, they believe in religion again. It works yeah. the same in books. Like, or they die. Skeptics are always viewed negatively, you know. Or they die, yeah. Uh, one Another movie that uh, I remember uh, is... Oh, fuck, I wanted to. <laughs> oh, it's fine. I wanted to use the barrel to, to kill the rat. <laughs> right, uh, just here to have fun anyway. Uh, the Conjuring 2 is a horror movie that I actually like. I'm a big fan of horror movies. Uh, but uh, it what was portrays, the name of it? Uh, the Conjuring Two. Uh, there is I the whole. Uh, there's a whole multiverse about the Conjuring movies. Mm. Uh, they are surrounded about around the figures of Ed and Lorraine Warren, uh, who mm. were two. Who, I don't know. They think they they say they were paranormal investigators. She claimed to have. To be a medium, to have visions. Interesting. Uh, they were, yes, they were real people. I mean, uh, that's why the the big marketing for the Conjuring movies was that it's based on on real events. Right. Um, and on the Conjuring two, for example, they investigate the haunting of a ha on England, a house in England. Um, there is the skeptic character, and she's portrayed like a total. <laughs> Like an idiot, or well, so yes, no, like a very uh, bad person. Like, uh, she's trying to say, like, uh, okay, this family, so the family was a mom and uh, like I see four or five killed children, right? Uh, this is the mom trying to get attention, this is the mom trying to, to get money out of this. Uh, there's a moment that she say, oh, I don't know what is worse, uh, if the, the demons of the people that lie to, to get attention and the protagonist that is, I, I wanted to get to the hook, not to the, to the right. girl again, so, uh, says like in very noble voice, like, no, the demons are the worst, and, uh, uh like, Again, that idea that uh, the skeptic is uh, the one acting like an asshole. Uh, again, it's like a very common trope in, it is. in this type of movies. Uh, Not just movies, but books too. It's always like that, you know? Yes. Yes. The only times that uh, in the books or in, the, in fiction in general where religious is portrayed as bad is when it's like kind of gravelock level. <laughs> yeah. Not Kate. Uh, but even that is not that common. Like, usually they just pretend no. that, you know, there isn't anything wrong with religion, or it's even an endearing or good quality. It's really frustrating. Yes. Yes, and that's why it's, it's, it's kind of amazing that uh, then the pastor say that Hollywood is out to get religion. Like, they are actually generous with religion. 
Right. Oh um, my god. Yes. <laughs> These jumping people. <laughs> Cold well, life. it's it's good we both suck at this because it means we both get a lot of time to play it, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we both keep dying. <clears throat> I used to play really good at this game, but me too. Yeah, yes, I no, mean, we're no. we're not playing that badly. It, it could be worse, in all seriousness. Yes, if you see me play Mario, that's why I didn't want to play any of the Mario games. I, I used right. to be very good at them, but haven't played in, in a good while. Um, I feel like the controls are a lot more sensitive in this, or I don't know. It, it, there is some little bit of lag or something. Because I've never in my life had trouble, like, landing on a barrel precisely. But now I'm, I'm having trouble landing on a barrel, you know? It's just, uh, just weird. Maybe it's, like, a byproduct of um, being online and playing it online. But anyway, it's still a fantastic game. Yes. Absolutely it love it. It's just a killer music. I love the music of this game. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Oh, I missed What they the, did oh. with the... I don't know, it was the 6-bit or 8-bit uh, um, quality. <laughs> it's really good. Right. Oh, God, I forgot. I have to take something up there to beat him, I think. Uh, you have to be with the power banana, the power... Oh, really? Or, yes, Do I? Or, yes or, take, or take something to, to hit him. Uh, a oh. box or a barrel or something. Well, I don't think I have a box, so it's okay. Uh, but anyway. Yes, and another detail about uh, the, the first movie I was talking big guys. Uh, yeah. I remember after knowing uh, about the Jehovah's Witness, uh, one moment uh, she's on the supermarket and grabs a book of numerology, and she becomes obsessed with numerology, right. which I... <laughs> I'm guessing made her more, if it's true, I don't know how much is true and how much is not true. Uh, but if it's true, I guess it would make her more susceptible to believe them. Yeah. Uh, with all the... What is, um, like, what it, do you remember what they said about numerology? Was it just that she got a book on it or uh, did they add no, to it? She's, no, she didn't start, uh, like, adding numbers to... Uh, to extract meaning out of the numbers i don't remember exactly what uh, wow that sucks uh, what was the the meaning but yes she started extracting it was a good movie um, though generally like yes all that it stuff was aside. a good movie it was very interesting because uh, that's the sad thing when you know about because it's a movie about the person uh, overcoming an abuser like uh, right. the, the husband uh, was taking credit and then gaslighting her, uh, like, oh, yes, I do this for the both of us. You are not very good with people. Uh, right. I'm I'm better than as a public figure. This is a team, but yes, a team, like, he was taking the credit for something he was not doing. Mm. Um, so, yes, it, but the thing is, when you know, uh, like, she goes from an abusive husband to an abusive cult, so... Uh, I guess they maybe try uh, treat her differently because she kept painting uh, her whole life. I remember you told a story once of a painter you knew that once he became a Shokobat witness, he stopped painting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, she kept painting her whole life, but she was famous. So I guess uh, she probably got a different treatment. Yeah, that, and... is, that is crazy, man. What a set, like, Jehovah's Witnesses really do make their lives miserable for no reason sometimes. And they are not portrayed often in the media, but, you know, when they are, it's usually positively, unfortunately. Or in this case, even possibly. Uh, like, if the movie implies that uh, she was, al she had already left the husband, left the husband by the time she, uh, she became a Jehovah's Witness. But she right. had not claimed. Uh, the authorship of her uh, of her paintings, and when she became uh, Bible study, she was I see she wasn't still a Shabbat 
Right. Uh, she said that all oh, Shehova doesn't allow lying, and I am lying by letting this man taking the authorship of my painting. So that was her reason, really. It was more like, oh, lying is bad. Right. Uh, more than this is just a uh, strange reason, really. Yeah. And another sad thing is that I think she she pulled her daughter into the cult. Uh, I've searched for information about if the if the daughter was still one, but there is nothing. Really? I don't know so she's. It said you said she brought the daughter in. Yes, because oh. she was a teenager. Right. Uh, oh, that by sucks. the end. And it doesn't say if the daughter was still a Chekhovah, you know, like, it gives you the impression she was, because right. the daughter was in contact with her the whole life. If she has stopped being one, they, she probably had to show her. Yeah. Though, I don't know, there is not much information about uh, her. Her, her name was Margaret, uh, the, the, the woman was Margaret Crane. Mm. Wow, well, I didn't know you uh, could, like, do a super chef. jump like that. Oh, yes, you have to uh, keep the A press. Right. Oh, um, interesting. And then, I did the soundtrack of this, of this level is awesome. <laughs> uh, yes, the movie was a Tim Burton movie. I don't know if you know the other Really? The, the it was? Yes. How did yes, I miss this? Awesome. Tim Burton is, like, <laughs> awesome. I love Tim Burton movies. Yes. I uh, it's not a fantasy movie, it's like a, <laughs> a biography, but he was a great admirer of the of this painter. Mm. Uh, so that's why he was a collector of her of her, of her work, so that's uh, why that he, makes sense. Okay. He maybe Interesting. The, so it I guess it didn't movie. really it wasn't like his other movies then. It was kind of a more of like a normal style Yes, it movie. was that he didn't have much uh, oh, fuck. <laughs> They, he took my snake. He did. Uh, yes, it was a more... It has some bizarre moment because he can't help himself. But right. it's more... Yes, more regular movie. Interesting. More like a regular movie. Uh, and I wanted to, to ask you, do you have a, like... What are your tastes in movies or story fictions? My favorite, like, movies or types yes. of stories or whatever? Yes, yes. Sci-fi is definitely my favorite genre. I really, really like sci-fi stuff. Like, um... Uh, there's this book called Deathstalker, and it's a very little-known book. Like, almost nobody has heard of this book. It's written by Simon R. Green. But it's an absolutely... It's probably the best book I've ever read in my life, I think. Um, I do like horror movies, though. Horror movies are pretty interesting. Um, but I don't watch movies very often. It's kind of rare for me. Um, usually, if I watch a movie, it's something that just came out, and I go to a theater to see it, like, once every six months every to a year then, at yes. most. It's, like, super rare that I ever go to theaters, but, um, yeah, I mean, generally, if I'm going to be reading, or if I'm going to be consuming a new story, it's going to be, like, a book, probably. Um, nothing against movies, I just find it kind of hard to, like, come into a brand new story that I know nothing about. In, I don't know. I like TV shows, but I don't like movies as much because TV shows are um, like consistent, mm -hmm. long form. Like you already understand who the characters are and everything, you know. But a movie, they have to like establish who the characters are. And again, you know. Oh my God! <laughs> wow, that was short lived. <clears throat> yes, those those are some. Very annoying characters. Yeah. Uh, oh, there is a Netflix show uh, that is uh, new, uh, but I think it came out last year, and it's, uh, it's uh, an exception of the rule, like they portrayed. Uh, it's about, uh, it's like an allegory of religious fanatism. Oh, 
Mm, right. Um, it calls uh, Midnight Mass. Uh, I don't think I've heard of that. <clears throat> yes, it's uh, really good. And yes, the the director says he, since he suffered from uh, like a religious extremists, he wants to make a, a story about really? how much. Uh, yes, it interesting. Uh, it can affect uh, a community and, and and people in general. Uh, That's it's really, really good interesting. And it's, and it's only uh, eight, uh, eight episodes. Right. But it's oh, so a mini series, I, I guess. Yes, it's a mini series. Uh, it's That's a great mini series. Cool. Um, I I have seen like just about every documentary there is to see on like Jehovah or yeah Jehovah's Witnesses, Mormons, FLDS, and cults of all sorts. Uh, Lord Our Righteousness Church and stuff. Um, but you know what? You asked me what my favorite movie was. By the by, I figure we can probably pay, play one more level. Will that work? Okay, yes. The, I think the last level is the boss battle. Oh, is it? Okay. Well, so... that works then. <laughs> but yeah, uh, you asked me what my favorite movie I'm is. I'm going but... to, to uh, use nada más. Uh, sorry, I, I say nada más. <laughs> oh, it's Spanish. good. I'm going to try to fetch the, the barrel, so... For the past, okay, uh, that works. For the that works. Boss battle. Um, but yeah, yeah I think I've watched uh, The Walking Dead. I don't know if you've seen that. Yes, seen that but not show? entirely. Yes, not entirely. I got too drag for my taste, like too long. Oh right. Uh, well, they have like a bunch of different, um, like different series about it. They have like Fear the Walking Dead and yes, then, I know. Yeah, I've seen just about all of them, like all of the series, I think. I've seen all of it. Um, because, you know, I, I don't know. I was just a big fan of the Walking Dead series in general. I never did actually finish the original The Walking Dead, though, I don't think. I got to season six because at a certain point, I feel like it was terrible. Like, I don't know. It just got really really awful it, like you said it, drab and it, like uh, it dragged a lot and it became more and more gruesome yeah that uh, that's why um, i stopped watching the original mm -hmm. at season six but i i have seen the others because they weren't like that really oh shoot oh. i don't remember how to beat this boss uh, you have to <laughs> grab the and just crush it on him okay Yes, and I got tired. That thing about every... I, I am, a, uh, like I said, I already said, I like a lot of horror, so I've seen a lot of uh, horror, of zombie movies, but uh, I get tired of that uh, drop of... Uh, They oh, uh, every character always dies. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like you're sure. just waiting them to die. Right. I get yeah, that tired kind of that. sucks too. Definitely. Uh, about Although, uh, zombie movies. The the other series, Fear the Walking Dead, that didn't happen as much. Like, but then if they don't die, then they have plot armor, and and you know they're safe, and you can't really get stressed out about anything. You know, it's kind of a hard yeah, line it's... to walk. Yes, it's because yes, that's because drugs. They don't they don't seem to have many interesting uh, ideas plot about lines. zombies. That's why yes, bloodlines about zombie stories. That's why I get tired. I don't really watch much zombie stories anymore. Right. Um, <clears throat> ouch. Some of them. It's only, it's, hmm? it's only one more hit, I think. Oh shoot! Yes. Nice. Yes. <laughs> very very nice. That was pretty good. I should okay, play through this game. just on my stream. That, that this is yes, such it a could good be game. This is a really, this is a really good game. Right. And it has really good graphics for the time, <laughs> like right? uh, for the in epic celebrated game. Uh, so is the thirty minutes already? Because I sorry. I yeah, can't it has track. been. Okay. Uh, I I actually have uh, two more. <laughs> to redeem so maybe i'll redeem it okay uh, that sounds I'll, good 
I think I have I mean, another thing with somebody else uh, soon, so we, okay. we can work out when we when you and I play again uh, through Discord okay. if you want. Or I may want to do you want to debunk like because I've seen a lot of pastor uh, again complaining about uh, movie children movies and it's kind right. of funny for me to watch. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, maybe we can do that. We'll work. Okay. We can work the. We can work it out in a little bit, but. All right, I guess I'll get off of here and talk to you later. I appreciate you coming on and hanging out with me. Same. Same. Thank you. All right, Same. later. Nice to meet you.